Hello and welcome to this special as we dive into what the candidates will do for certain sectors and spaces in your trading. As always, I'm Evan Lucas for Go Markets, and please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any full advice at all. It's just general in nature only. We want to do a deep dive into which stocks, which sectors, which plays are going to benefit and also probably be disadvantaged by each candidate. So let's have a look into Trump. The three words you need to remember, drill, drill, drill. That has been his campaign mandate for almost two years in terms of what he's in it, which means oil and oil companies in particular are absolutely seen as a beneficiary to his presidency. And you can see that already, and it's not going away. The flip side of that is that if the US is putting more oil into the markets, the oil price itself will probably come under pressure. It is already, demand globally has been lower than expected. And then if you've got the US coming back in line and actually taking on OPEC, something to watch very closely. But there is clear numbers that suggest that the oil companies in the short term will get a boost from him. The second one to also look at is actually just US corporates as a whole. We knew in 2016 when he came to power that he wanted to move multinational tax policies around to repatriate money that was sitting overseas back home, and it happened. It absolutely drove that through. Similar policies are being mooted again. So what are we looking at on the flip side and where does it sit against him? Well, his 10% policy globally is an issue. That is no doubt about it. Not just for international stocks that are very exposed to the US market, but on the flip side, it also slows down inflation in the US and actually drives it up. So that is also the part of this discussion as well, is that rates could go higher. Inflation could technically go higher. And overall, that means not just US companies, but global companies face the pressure of a Fed that may have to flip its course because of his policy. Finally, also, the one to look at very closely is EVs. He is a known person that is not into international EVs. If you look at Europe and you look at China, they are very worried about what his policies could be for US sales of EVs coming from those two parts of the world. And then you've got also the Elon Musk scenario with Tesla and how close he is and whether or not he starts giving advantages to that company over international ones. And that's the final one to really look at. The EV market will be very, very keen to see what a Trump presidency means for their businesses going forward. So let's look at Harris and on the other side and where she sits. Well, oil companies clearly are gonna be the opposite to what Trump is looking at. She is clearly not proposing any additional numbers or even sort of tariffs, in fact, on the oil space. Oil is likely to fall off the back of her presidency. EV vehicles, however, are on the other side. She clearly wants to promote it and has been very strong in that view around getting emissions down and EV vehicles being a massive part of the US movement towards a cleaner energy into 2050. She also is quite a big promoter in the medical space. She wants to increase spending in that area, also around the PBS and Medicare. That means that medical companies that have probably been left by the wayside in the US are ones to watch. You then come to the final part of this, which is inflation. Most of her policies are neither positive nor negative for inflation. And if that's the case, and all things being equal, the Fed can continue on its merry way with what it's doing. Inflation should therefore come down. And overall, that is actually a positive for not just US equities, but it's positive for also currencies that are not the US dollar. Because at the moment, it is being driven up by this idea that not just a soft landing, but an inflation reinflation story could happen in 2025. And that is why both candidates are very different to equities. And whatever happens post the 5th of November, there will be definite movements of different directions in different sectors, not just in the US, but across the globe.